Wolverine is one of the most popular comic book characters, but how did he get all of that metal on his bones? And what about those claws? Let's overthink this a bit, shall we? Hey people, Trace here for D News with some interesting insight into the man known as Logan. Wolverine comes out in theaters this week and we thought, shing, pew, pew, pew. Okay, we, we thought that, but we've also thought, I wonder if there's any scientific basis for this. Shing. After some mediocre X-Men films came out in the early 2000s, people got Wolverine fever and have since been debating a scientific basis for Wolverine's super strong adamantium bones and claws and stuff. The same debate comic nerds have been having for decades. If we were gonna give Wolverine an adamantium skeleton with today's technology, what would we use? Wolverine's claws and skeleton use adamantium for their indestructibleness, and though it's a fictional element, we do have some cool stuff that's a lot like it. Adamantium is an indestructible stuff that was once solid, and that's how it gets its name. Adamantine means unbreakable. While diamond was once considered the hardest naturally occurring substance, and you know, it is really hard, it's not very strong. If you were to hit diamond with a hammer, it would shatter. Tungsten is another option. It's tough, but it's heavy, and unfortunately, it's water soluble, so his claws would dissolve in his blood. Not so good. Titanium is strong and light, but with a melting point of 1933 Kelvin, we can't really liquefy it easily to coat Wolvie's bones without also liquefying his skin. There are strong, tough nanomaterials, alloys, and other specially cultivated substances, for example, Wurzite boron nitrate, a super strong crystalline substance with a high melting point, but unfortunately, it's an irritant. So if Logan deployed his claws, he'd cause cell damage to the eyes and respiratory systems of anyone in the vicinity. Damn it! I'm thinking that the best bet would probably be aggregated diamond nanorods. If you take graphene and you roll it into a tube and then press it together, it's super strong, it has a high melting point, it's actually stronger than diamonds, and it wouldn't kill anyone by being exposed to air which is a plus. In the movies, Wolverine has adamantium injected into his body so it can coat his bones. And thanks to his healing factor, he survives where others would have not. That's heavy, Doc. So how could we get these diamond nanorods into Logan? We kind of can't. Once melted, the substance would cease to be a network of diamond nanotubes, so this would just maybe work for his claws. What would we do to cover his bones? A company called Liquid Metal produces an amorphous metal alloy used in everything from space technology to cell phones and toys, and their metals have the moldability of plastic and twice the strength of titanium, which is pretty good. The problem is liquid metal is not a liquid. It's a solid alloy of at least three metals, zirconium, titanium, nickel, copper, or beryllium. So while it's great for commercial applications, it's not exactly awesome for a superhero. He'd have to keep sharpening his claws and the metal has high elasticity, so instead of a badass rampaging Wolverine with metal bone covers, we'd have like Gumby or Pokey. Or maybe we should skip the liquid coating the bones thing and leave that to the realm of the comic books. Are you heading out to see the movie this weekend? Tell us what you think, no spoilers, and we'll see you next time on D News. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. We do this for you, so thanks, bye.